what's going on guys hope you all are doing great it's your boy sam and today what we'll be doing today is we're going to be creating something really cool this program is number one a gui application and what it's going to be able to do is we're going to be able to control our computer's operating system how cool is that from your python program you will be able to shut off your computer log off and so many different things you can basically control whatever your computer does with this program and yeah i hope you're excited about it as i am if you're new to the channel subscribe like the video guys it's completely free it takes you one second just like the video share it to friends who are into programming and that's about it so you know what let's get started as you can see we have the comments to actually lead us with this program so what we will do first is we'll say from tk tinker import star and after that we'll import os and this is the actual module that's going to help us control our operating system that's what os does there's so many cool things you can do with it i will leave a link down in the description below for the documentation another thing that you should just check real quick is if you don't have os installed in your computer this is what you need to do you need to copy it right here in this url and install it in your terminal your terminal is right here if you're using pycharm if you're not using pycharm i don't know what you're doing you should be using pycharm so you click on the terminal right here and you paste the code and it should install I already have it installed so I'm not gonna do that and yeah that's basically it for this now that we have the two modules Tekinter is our GUI and OS is what is going to control the operating system so we got the two modules that we're going to be using for this program the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start defining some functions so just say define some functions right here I'll say they have shut down because we want to shut down this computer. I want to be able to say, you know what? I don't want to use the normal thing that everyone uses. I'm a programmer, so I'm going to shut off my computer with my programs that I created. We'll say os.system. And what we want to sh it should show is to say shutdown slash s slash t. And then one. The next thing, we'll create another function, which is restart. So we want to also be able to restart the computer. Basically, shut it down and then shut it back on or start it back on. I don't know which one. You can choose which one you prefer. So we'll say restart. I don't know what's up with my keys right now. Restart. And then we return again. What we return is this, basically. So I'm going to copy it because I'm lazy. I like to automate shit. And I'll just change this from, yeah, just, you can change it to restart if you want. It doesn't really matter. Next, we'll say def log, log out, because we want to be able to log out also. So we'll log out right here and yeah, return always system. And in this case, we'll just do one L minus L. So that's basically it. Here we'll change it to R, shut down R, and then T, and then 1. Okay, okay. So now that we've done this, what's next? What do you think is next? Well, we need to start with our GUI because we're done with OS. OS is going to work right now if we can call these functions. But we don't want to just call these functions through the terminal. We want to do it the smart way, the cool way, which is with a GUI. So this is why we got Tkinter right here, or TK, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce this module or this GUI. I, I call it Tkinter, but you know what? Tell me down in the description, in the comments below. How do you pronounce it? Is it Tkinter or TK, whatever? Now we'll create a master. I set that equal to T K. Mm -hmm. Now that we've done this, what we need to do next is we need to set some background. And I'm going to give it a background configuration. What colors do you guys like? I like orange a lot. Thinking of giving it a background of orange equals to orange. Hopefully they have orange in their color system. So I set the background to orange now that we have this background set what we need to do is we need buttons we need buttons buttons rule the world 
okay maybe not buttons but screen whatever buttons and then what we'll do now is we'll say master and then text and guys tell me if you have any video suggestions put it down in the comments below and i'll feature it on the channel yeah so we we'll say shut down and then we'll say the command is going to be equal to shut down the function that we created but we're not calling the function we're referring to the function so we remove those curly brackets then we say dot grid and what row do we want to give this we want to give it the number one row which is zero now that we've done this we need to switch this button from a small letter to a big capital because i don't want no errors in this program the next thing we'll do is we'll do for restart start I, you know what i want to switch this up to capital r and capital s let's show some respect to this program right here next we'll switch this from shut down to restart and the grid what row do you think if this was zero what row do you think this will be you got it you're smart it's one next is we'll do log out and yep you guessed it right here it's going to be log out and the row is going to be two or is two now that we've done that we just need to call our main loop function right here and we should have our program up and running yep you see it with the orange quite all right this gui could be way more better we could actually make it way more appealing but it works the only thing is i cannot turn this on i cannot test it you will have to do it yourself and then test it because if i test it the computer will shut off which means i cannot continue recording or it will restart which means i cannot continue recording or it will log out which means i cannot stop recording you got it so yeah guys make sure you try this out and let me know in the comments below if it works out for you put it down in the comments if you have any errors you shouldn't but if you do put it down in the comments and i'll help you out with that if you have any video suggestions put it also in the comments like the video guys it's completely free it takes you one second comment down below as i said earlier share it to friends and subscribe to the channel if you want cool projects like this and this is about it short and simple i'll see you all on the next one